Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Kingdom New Lands. So first off, before I forget, I did a quick search and I believe that um, the effect of the armored horse actually makes our units invincible for that time. Um, now realistically speaking, does that ever come into play? Um, not necessarily, because uh, when we think about it, they shouldn't ever be taking damage anyway, but it is kind of an interesting thing that if we get into some serious, serious trouble that um, we might have an out there. How is hunting going? It's not right now. We've got basically no money. Um, we do know our destination. There's two more portals in between us and the dock though, so we've got quite a bit ways to go still. Um, in fact, is there another wall out this end? I think I definitely want to build out this way. It looks like there's a wall here. We could actually build out this way. Our wall is pretty far out there, though. Um, concerned with that, of course, is that if the wall falls, um, we don't really have a backup plan. Can make out money for me today? You do. It's actually good. I only need one right now because I just want to grab this uh, nomad here before he eats all of my bread. There you go. Now what day are we on here? We're on day 13. Um, I would like to send out another assault on the next blood moon if at all possible. Um, though it is concerning because we're not going to have buffed archers. Um, and not having buffed archers starts making those long distance assaults pretty dicey. Um, there is a knight statue. I could potentially do that, but it is way, way out there. Um, so I don't know if that's really going to be worth it. There we go, I got one coin for this fella. Definitely need uh, more hunters though, for sure. Pretty short on that right now. Uh, most of our hunters are in night squads, so they're not actually, or most of our archers, I should say, are in night squads, so they're not actually hunting. Yeah, we got a little bit of an attack on the uh, eastern wall here. Let's actually uh, drop a coin out here. Not drop a coin. Put one in the uh, the tree here. So what I basically need to do now is, I mean, we're kind of on that loop at this point where we basically need to get many archers as possible in order to facilitate the money and the defense to actually start building the boat. And I need to be basically recruiting non-stop at this point I think because it's gonna get real nasty. We're probably gonna be here until day 30. I had to guess. Um, so I gotta make sure we might be here longer than that even. But I gotta make sure that we have enough um, enough archers to sustain really nasty attacks. In fact, if there are more walls, closer walls on the, the western side, I will probably want to start building that up. Because that's the side that's going to continually get really beaten down. Now what is here? Yeah, we can um, 
See, now there's a there's a two set of walls here that if I really wanted to expand out this direction, I could. Now, I'm really more concerned about expanding the western side, though, because the western side is what's going to actually have to keep things up. Now, if we moved forward, obviously our knights would have less distance to run, um, so that could be of a benefit. Um, we had a... Uh, there you are. Get some more bread up there. Um... I actually want two loaves of bread in case I miss one. Good, you do have money for me. Uh, have we given money to the banker? I'm not sure. Let's give him one coin, though. That will eventually pay out. And I'll definitely want the fortified walls at some point. Yeah, so where's our, our next set of walls out this side? It's, like, really far out. There's one wall there. There's nothing for a while. Hmm. Is this the uh, the builder? That's the farmer, right? Might be worthwhile at some point. All right, everybody's coming in for nighttime. Not a very productive day, unfortunately. Yeah, we might we might need to start farming pretty significantly here. I feel like I'm running into really low income situations. Hello. <laughs> Maybe I stand corrected. It would probably not hurt though if we have an easy access to a farm on the, the western end too. Even if we only had one farmer there. That went well. I believe my builder statue was on the eastern side. Um, so we will be able to, to use that to our advantage. Yeah, there is, you know, there is a farm right here. Unfortunately, we would lose one set of tall grass that way. But might be worth it still. Let's take the risk. Now, if this is going to be our Blood Moon tonight, I do want to make sure that I have 12 coins at least for the morning. So we'll need to send out those knights ASAP. I would like a lot more because I would like to be able to also buff the... Buff the walls. That's the that's the dilemma, I guess. If I if I go out and and use the builder statue, am I gonna have enough money to send them out in the morning? I think so. Let's see if I can find that. We need to be careful not to stay out too late, but let's see if I can uh, find that quick. I'm pretty sure it's on this side. Oh, you got hit on the way back, or we ran out of bread or something. I wonder if the, the shine effect makes me invincible also? If so, that could be kind of ridiculous. Alright, there's the stone obelisk. Could also be wrong about the... Oh, God! Uh... Alright. So we're going to head back this way, and it, that shine does not seem to affect me. So, uh...
actually gonna pause very briefly to eat some grass. Alright, time to go. This is not a blood moon, it seems, either. Man, they start off real early in the morning coming after me, though. Yeah, you gotta you gotta head in, buddy. Like it's it's time to get inside there. Got a whole bunch of archers going. All right, that's actually a pretty solid amount of uh, income. Boy, yeah, I would I would really like to be able to build up these walls though. I'm a little nervous about that. Did this side's attack already go through? I think so. So this is probably the Blood Moon coming up. I don't know why I activated that guy so early. He was gonna run back just fine. I am gonna try and take a peek again. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not. That's the Blood Moon coming. Uh, so we're just gonna hunker down and hope that, um... We have enough... Archers and resources to, uh, survive here. Yeah, you, you better run. Now that being said... If we do get this second portal down, it certainly makes things a little easier on this side. Uh, you know what? Why don't we... Let's build up this wall before the night, just in case. Because there's a potential that we could be in trouble. In fact, is the other one built too? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are our knights all, um, moneyed up? Alright, this side is... Let's check the other side to make sure. Just in case they need to provide defense. Yeah, okay, they're all... They're all cashed up, as it were. Got a fair amount of money in case I get in trouble. Now, generally speaking, if I get stuck in a horde, um, I'm gonna be screwed, but at least um, I could take a couple of hits. This is gonna be a pretty big one. It's if we can make it to this portal, I think we'll be okay. I'm a little concerned about doing it without buffed knights, but we'll find out. That's for sure. Oh, that, that pulsing bass in the background is always unsettling. We 
Basically, as soon as this attack is done, we go. I'm a little concerned about flyers. So I might go out and take a peek myself. To make sure that we're clear. I think we're clear. You guys need to go now. In fact, I'm gonna go with them and see if we can find those walls. So there was a flyer there. Um, that's what that stuff on the ground was, I'm pretty sure. But they did take it out and we didn't lose anyone, so. Now I can go with them and I can provide that invincibility. So that might actually be the strategy here. Is make sure that they have some invincibility while they're out there. I just thought of that. It's actually a good idea, me. Probably the oldest strategy in the book and I'm just thinking of it now, but hey, I'll take it. But I should have plenty of time to get out here and find the the Builder statue as well. If it is on this side. If it's not on this side, the world's biggest idiot. And I have forgotten. Boy, we really have to go a long way to get to this portal though. What are the chances of building this? Probably like zero. All right, good. So that'll, we'll have our, our walls built up now. Oops, sneak past here. Why is that active? Shouldn't be active. Where are you, night friends? There they are. Okay, good. Let's go, team. That portal is probably just active because I was too close to it. It is. It does take forever to get out here, though. It's too bad there's no visual indicator of that buff. What I'm actually gonna do is kind of check on it occasionally. I mean, we're really just taking out this portal, no problem, though. Now we gotta get back. <laughs> now. And we're gonna have nighttime for a long time here. Well, that's a scary sound when you're still out in the forest. Now the the moon set, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get another nighttime here. Not actually gonna hit daytime yet. Now seeing that those 
nomads weren't running means there's we probably got a pile of them back at home which is good um, means I probably have some uh, money waiting for me too yeah there we go You guys are all going to be archers. Really shouldn't leave myself with zero coins, though. That's that's real dumb. Should have some money over here, though. Yeah, there we go. Plenty of money, in fact. Right, we've, got, um, we've got buffed walls. We've got some decent archers. Oh, I got to did take a piece of bread just before uh, I got back there. Now the knights on this side will hopefully make it back and they won't get run down. I don't think so. I think they might um, have like a grace period. They might have enough of a head start that it won't matter. But we're going to be dealing with nighttime for a while. That's for sure. And if we, I think if we can survive this retaliation, I think we're golden. Because I think that if I can do this one, I can do the next one. Obviously the next one's going to be tougher, but um, if we don't struggle with this one, I think we would be okay on this. In fact, you know, to that extent, I might actually want to build a crossbow tower here. That way, if we do have to fall back, we've got that extra firepower. I don't want to do it right now, though, because I don't want to take workers away from this side. Although, you know, we have a lot. Why don't I start doing that right now? So if we ever do have to fall back, we do have the, uh, the little guy here still. If we do ever have to fall back, um, we can fall back to another crossbow tower. Do we have any more uh, guys over here? So all of our knights made it back in one piece. Very nice. Comes that blood moon. Obviously, we're still in nighttime waiting for this attack. Palliation strike to come through here. All right, so that's the last um, one before the actual thing. I do have a hammer here. Okay, here we go. Is this attack coming in? Again, we, we're not ever going to have um, buffed archers here. Now, I could potentially go out and pick up the, uh, the buffed archer tower or statue after a blood moon while I send my troops off the other direction, but I think that's, a, that's not a safe idea. There we go. Okay, good. So he's real happy about that. Are we actually... No, they're actually... They're attacking him. Alright, there's a big dude. Yeah! Beat him down. Man, he is real beefy. There we go, we got him. Our worker dude got knocked out there, but I think he's okay. Oh, he kind of missed. Nice. All right. Good. We did lose the buff on that um, that wall, though. So that is some that is important to note. But we did survive. And this wall actually still has its buff. Entirely. Which is real good. Do we dare start building up the uh, the boat? Ah, I think so. And we can probably support like an extra farmer on each farm, I think, too. 
may be worthwhile. I'm really more concerned about archers though. We're getting enough money from the archers, then we should just get more archers. Because that's what's going to prevent us from getting overrun. But, I mean, it's a four coin investment. It's a, like a one nomad investment, base card, two nomad investment, so I mean, it's not, not a bad idea. Did we get this other worker to replace? Yeah, we did. Okay, good. So my only real concern at this point um, is can our knights make it to that last portal? If they do, I think we're set. Uh, my only other concern is that I don't know how to better fortify this side other than just more archers. Um, those those walls out there are very, very far out, so it's don't really have a good option to expand. I could try putting archer towers out there. Um, they'll get picked off by flyers, but at the same time, it might weaken the incoming horde, and it wouldn't really... I mean, it would cost me a lot of boat money. Probably once the boat's moving, maybe I'll try building archer towers outward. Um, they'll be vulnerable, and they'll basically be on a suicide mission, but they might be able to weaken some of the incoming greed horde. You're gonna be a farmer. I want one more farmer. Hopefully I'll put two on each. Unfortunately, um, I can't really afford to send out the knights not on a blood moon because that portal is just way too far away. They'd never make it there. You guys are also full, right? I also feel like I, I probably don't have to go with them, but I will anyway. Because I can start building the portals if I do. I'm going to try one more farmer here. So I think they'll distribute two each. I, at least I hope so. Alright, and you will be a farmer. A couple more coins into this boat. Slowly but surely, we'll start building it up here. It's really close to the our walls too, so once we get it up, it's gonna be really easy to get it, um, get it through. What day are we on? We're on day 20. We might end up getting into winter here. It's gonna be concerning. I can't remember now if the farms stay during winter and the animals don't, or vice versa. It would make sense to me that the animals would stay around but the farms weren't, but I think in the game it might actually be the other way around. I'm not gonna bother building more. Yes, yeah, so we got two farmers at each side here, which is good. Let's continue building up our archer army, basically. The important thing here, and also once I get, um, this last portal clear, I can upgrade the farm too. Kind of important to note. Uh, but yeah, the important thing will just not be wasting time. I think that's gonna be super important. 
making sure I'm not wasting money just sitting around waiting for the blood moon, even though I do have to wait for it. Make sure I'm spending that time wisely. You don't get it back, which is a, a real lesson for life in a video game here. Alright, night time. So this side should never have trouble anymore. Um, they're only going to get light attacks. And, uh... They're going to be completely clear pretty soon. I'm just thinking, like... Is it going to be worth taking out one of these portals on the, the west side? I feel like that's what got me in trouble in, in land four. On my first run through here. We do have a lot of archers. As far as I know, there's no limit to that necessarily. So, I mean, doing real well. All right, we can put some money into the boat. We're not quite, we're not on the outer shell yet either, so we've got a ways to go building this boat. We're getting that top piece though, so it won't be too long before we're working on the outer sections. Now the frame is close to being built. Now, I obviously am losing a few coins here with the bread. Wait a minute, did you just take that coin? I'm a uh, coin short here. You got money for me, some of you must. There we go. Yeah, I am losing a little bit of a single coins here and there from them eating the bread versus me picking them up before they grab it, but that's. I think in the long run, it's probably not that big of a deal. Oh, there's the portal. Wait, this isn't another Blood Moon already, is it? No way. I mean, it is day 21. I'm so not ready, though. Ah, uh, maybe I will be, though. That's definitely 12 coins. More than 12 coins. Yeah, so if the Blood Moon comes tonight, let's do it. Although, I might end up leaving it on a cliffhanger looking at my recording time here. Probably what's going to happen is I'm probably going to send them out after that Blood Moon and then stop the episode. Yeah, here comes the Blood Moon. Alright, this is... Like, this is it. If we get this portal down and survive the retaliation, I think we're gonna do it. Like, I think we're gonna make it. So, we, I mean, we need to survive this blood moon, too. That's another thing. That could be super nasty, and we have no idea. Now, this side is a little weaker, because I don't have the second crossbow tower. But, theoretically, this side should also have less baddies coming in. There's only one portal. The, uh, the other side, however, could have a lot. 
Yeah, you're immediately going on duty here. Let's see, you seem to be doing okay. Shot. Yeah, our wall is still uh, enchanted here. Alright, we got a big guy coming in though. Oh, okay. That was scary. That almost hit me. Alright, he's down. Wall's still enchanted though. Oh man, that actually. This guy dead? I don't know, he's, he's okay. And he's gonna pick up his uh, his weapon again. All right, we gotta let's just do it. Send these guys out right now. This is it, little friends? And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna stop right here. And so next time, I'll follow up with them, and we'll see if we can take out this last portal. And if we do, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon.